The droppings that you see, this of a gemsbok. Gemsbok, oryx, same, same animal. This is actually the only animal that can really live in the desert. A springbok has a small roof. When a springbok walks, he sinks into the sand. So the springbok come down and they just go back in the rivers. The one that really goes over the dunes, in the dunes, is a gemsbok. Because gemsbok, oryx, same animal, have a big roof. Very important is the roof have a hollow part. That means he traps the sand and he doesn't sink into the sand. A gemsok can also live his whole life, 25 years, without tasting any water. He can get everything only from the plants. He's a very passive animal. He cannot run away. And this is why he developed that two straight horns. Rather he will attack you than to run away. So just be careful. It's a very, very passive animal. Like he's very, very dangerous. If you go to the campsite tonight, then you will see in the campsite the seed pots of the tree. A nice white green seed pot. That falls with the wind from the trees and then it, the seed needs to be spread it. The fruit, the, the seed pot, is very very good for the animals to eat. As the animal eat it, of course, I give you the seed the, or the fruit and you need to give something back. You need to spread my seed. So therefore, they eat it. And as they eat it, it goes through their system in their dropping. And these two droppings of a gemsok, this is a gemsok, a springbok is half size. Then inside that, there you find the seed sitting there. Remember now, it is not laying in the seed pot anymore. It is spread out. It is far away from the tree. It is not laying under the tree. It lays in the sun, but it needs to have shelter or, or some cover. And this is why in a dropping, it is quite protected. If you want to plant a seed, you want to put a fertilizer. The fertilizer is already there. If there comes a river, this becomes a boat. And um, of course, this will keep much more moisture when it rains than when it is only the seed. So if you break it open, there you find the seed inside. And this is why you may see mice are eating the seeds when it is still fresh, because then it is soft and they can still eat this, but now it is very hard. A springbok has a small dropping, and therefore a springbok cannot really swallow the seed, because that small dropping, it doesn't fit it in at the back. And therefore, if a springbok eats it, he spit out the seeds, because it must come out in the front, it doesn't fit at the back. So a gemsok eat it, they swallow it and it ends up on a place like this. And like this, they, this is why a seed of the trees ended on a place like this.